Hey guys, today I have some chicken here. I decided to make some curry. Chicken curry, but you know I did video of chicken curry before. So. Hey guys, uh, as you can see, I washed the meat. I put a little um, vinegar and I wash it. So now I'm going to season it. And this way I'm going to be seeing a different way of cooking it. Because I'm going to be using masala. So like Indian spices, gar masala, curry powder. But anyway, so now I'm going to put... To this is I will use one and a half tablespoon of garam masala, as you can see. To this amount here, I'm gonna use three tablespoon. You see, it depends on the amount of meat you have, so then you increase the amount. Three tablespoon of curry powder. I'm gonna use some salt. Well, you know, salt is for taste. As far as your curry powder and garam masala, you have to use it according to how much you're cooking. So this is the salt, garam masala, curry powder. And I'm also gonna add some cumin powder onto this. I'll show you. I'm gonna add some cumin powder and some black pepper, and then it's all ready to go. So I'm going to use a teaspoon of cumin powder. Cumin powder also called jeera. And I'll put some, a little more of black pepper on this. You know, masala come with all these spices. Gar masala come with all these spices but um you know sometimes they, especially meat they need a little more so i'm gonna put just a little black pepper more on this i also gonna add a little bit um now this is optional a little bit of cayenne pepper because this food will have seasoning too. I just put just a little bit on. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this dry, dry seasoning that I have, which all the blend of seasoning that I use every day usually when I cook. We got have basil, we have thyme, we have, um, uh, there are no different, different types, so I'm going to add a little bit of this. This is not much, but um, because I'm going to put into the curry. So I need to put a little spice too, like cinnamon and bay leaf and all of that, but I'm going to mix this up now, and you see the next step when I'm going to add in those other spices. Hey guys, as you can see, I put all the masala into this meat and you're gonna soak it down for two hours and i come back and cook but before i do that i'm gonna put the um some cardamom some bay leaves some cinnamon some cloves that's gonna be the next and all would saute into this meat to give them a nice flavor so you see the next step okay so here i have some um, bay leaf some cardamom and some spice and i also gonna put um this um all this to season it up i'm also gonna put some clove if i got grain clove i'll put a quarter teaspoon of grain clove and star spice but i'm making a nice curry you go find all these at the um indian store west indian store india store that's star spice so now i have all the indian spice in that food now i'm gonna blend it up so i have some seasoning here which i'm gonna add into this curry I have some fresh garden seasoning a blend of them and this is cilantro pepper garlic ginger 
celery yeah and i add this in to blend with the curry i'm gonna grind this up and then i'm gonna start this next step cooking hey guys as you can see i put some um oil there put three tablespoons of oil And let it start to fill with its own water. And while it's using its water, it also continues to fill this meat with this oil to so get a nice flavor. I'm just checking. Well, it has to come down. Yeah, by and with its own water. I mean, flavor with its own water. It started to use water, so this is going to be the water that we're going to use. So I'm just checking. See now, as you see a bunge, now you're coming down to the oil. A little way more to go. But this time I want to put the seasoning so you can blend with this here. So I grind the whole seasoning, so it's going to come in here now. I'm going to put the seasoning now. I grind all the seasoning up. And then we're going to like, still you're going to bungee and season the pot as it's coming along. So it's everything here. Oh my God, it smells so good. These are all fresh garden seasoning. This time I'm gonna add some turmeric powder. A teaspoon. All right, so just gonna bunge it down. I will put some potato until it finished. so good just checking okay it's, it's coming down nice this time i'll put the potato looking okay, all nice oh wow smelling so good Your food according to the amount that you cook and the amount of meat you cook in, that's how you base on how much masala you use or curry powder you use. If you use less, cook less meat, you use less. So that's how it is. All right, so I put a lid on this and let it keep on cooking until it finish. Depends, or maybe we have to give him some more gravy for um, boiling the potato. Okay, let's check, see what's going on here. Okay. Okay, it's coming nicely. Well, I have to put that in the water for... Um, the gravy because the potato well, I'm going to cook this bungee style potatoes still need to cook so I'll add a little more water to this I'll let it keep on cooking till the potato is at this time I'm going to give it a little water for some gravy but I will not to I like it a little bungee style so I'm not going to give it too much so this will boil till it finish Okay, I'm just checking in, see how it is. I'm going to put a pepper to steep. You know, if you like the pepper, to steep it now is the time. Okay. It's not quite done. Uh, you know, I like, as I said, I like it a good just time. So, by the time this water dry down, it's finished. 
And the potato probably is going to be there too, but it's not quite done. At this time, I'm going to put a few slices of onion. And we're going to lock it down until it's finished cooking. Hey guys. Okay, as you can see, it finished now. See the pota okay, potato boil. And uh, I'm going to leave it like this, a little bundle style, not too much of water. I like it like this. So this is Zorina Spice. Thank you guys for watching. It's been a pleasure cooking this food with y'all. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. Bye.